is I grabbed my beauty blender and I put it in water. Squeeze it a few times just to clean it a little bit. That's not how I completely clean it, but I just needed it. I used some darker makeup last night, so today when I put on my makeup, it's a little bit darker than I like. Um, it didn't match my skin at all, so that's another reason why I'm redoing my makeup. That, and I just feel refreshed and I feel better afterwards. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with some e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. I'm just going to gob it, just kidding. Put a little on my finger. On my face. Put it back on and work it in. I think that was $6.00. At Target. I might also move the camera because when I knew my face, I need to lean in a bit. And I don't think anybody wants to see me this close, so. And this smells really good, too. So rub it in. Get it ready. And yes, I pluck my own eyebrows. The thing is, in this eye, you guys won't probably notice it will wander off. Um, I was working in a house, and because I, at one point, before I was a caregiver, I cleaned um, post-construction. I did post-construction cleanup, which means after they built the house, I'd go in and I'd wipe the dust off of everything, um, clean all the crap out of it before they went in and retouched it up. And we did that three times. The first one's called a rough clean. The second one's called... Um, just junk, just just clean. And the last one's a spit and shine, which is what you do when they're moving ready. You just make sure everything's shiny, make sure that there's no dust on anything and that everything's covered up. Um, I hate it. I hate it when I get the moisturizer on my nose right here because it's always like, looks like I'm wiping muckles on my face. But I was cleaning a house and something got in my eye and it was really bad. Went to the hospital. I had an infection in my eye, and now what I have to have is they killed the infection, but there's something that they need to go on with the needle, and they need to suck it out of my eye. And I know that's gross, but I'm terrified to have that done, so I deal with this stupid-ass wandering eye thing, because the muscle in this eye um, can't see. Think of a, a boob, and how the areola is, like right in the middle. That's how it is. I can see all around, except for this one spot in the middle, and it's usually right where I need to focus at which is why sometimes my makeup is off kilter, um, why my eyebrows are awful. Now I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline New York Master Prime um, Primer. It's the, I guess, it says 050 Hydrate Plus Smooth. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably going to be backwards because the camera, I don't know how to work this thing. This is my first one ever. And I'm out of primer pretty much. Taking off my ring really quick. lip ring out too. The elderly couple that I care give for, they don't care much for my lip ring, so sometimes and sometimes I forget to take it out. It doesn't bother them, they're not mean about it. She's just usually like, oh honey, you have a little something here. And then I'll tell her what it is and she'll be like, your face is too pretty for that. So I'll take it out. And it doesn't bother me. I appreciate her kindness. And like I said, they are an elderly couple. I prime my ears too because I do put cover up or foundation on it. I mean, I cover up and foundation the same thing pretty much. Um, like I said, I'm just beginning this and learning. So, you guys, none of you guys will probably want the look that I'm doing, but I mean, it is what it is. These are awful, by the way. I have to use it's all ghetto rigged. I'm going to go in with Sephora 
10 hour wear protection or perfection ugh, foundation in color light clair it's number 14 um beige delicate because i'm fair skin because i've got red hair um i need what's a damp beauty blender put a couple squirts on it Also, if you're watching my channel, I have such a terrible, awful mind, and um, chances are it's definitely not going to be suitable for children. So, um, parents, if you guys hear me on your kids' channel, I'm not saying this video ex like is going to be inappropriate, but there's always a chance. I'm going to have to take a break here in a second. Because the coffee's done upstairs and Papa, he has to have his coffee. Papa is my husband's father. Um, my husband committed suicide in January. And you see, I, res I don't know what's going on with my face. I think I have like eczema or rosacea or something. Because I keep getting these little patches of dry, like really by my nose, right here by my chin, and then on my eye. But my husband committed suicide in January on the 13th, 2019. Um, no note, so we don't know why. Um, nobody had any idea it was going to happen. Um, and when I do my chin, I kind of just brush it down because it's weird to talk like this. <laughs> so I brush it down and then I'll buff it out a little bit later. But we had plans that day. Um, he and I were, so here's a big backstory. He and I are both, well, I'm an addict in recovery. Um, I did used to do drugs. And he did them with me. Um, he went to jail and I was trying really hard to get and stay clean. But of course, depression, which is something I am I do have. One of the, the silent killers there. Um, depression was kicking my ass. So I wasn't staying completely clean. But as soon as he got out of jail, I told him, you know, I don't want to do that anymore. And we were supposed to be good. Um, I guess he had other plans because when they found him, he actually killed himself here in this room. And I know that people are I gotta pop me back. I know that people are gonna think that it's fucking weird that I'm in this room, but what it is is this was our room. Like prior to us having to live apart because um, of our addiction. We stayed in this room together, um, and this closet right here is where he ended his life, and I want to be closer to him, so I stay in this room, I stay where I know he was last, and sometimes when I'm having a really rough day, and I know it sounds like I'm going to cry, but I'm really fighting it, so don't worry, no tears, no tears on this channel, not right now at least, maybe another day. Um, I don't even remember where I was, but when I'm having a bad day or something, I will come in here and I will talk to him. I'll tell him how much I miss him. I'll tell him that I'm not angry with him and that I forgive him because I do. Um, because I understand, you know, I understand. He was going through a lot of stuff in his life, and it was rough. It was rough for both of us, and the drugs didn't help. We were trying to use them to numb, and when we thought that they were helping, they just made everything so much worse. There's a chip in my cup. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm not taking a break. I might in a little bit. And while we thought that everything was great and super and that we were doing great and we were fooling everybody, now I see that didn't happen. Everybody knew. 
nobody as stupid as we think that they are, and we weren't as clever as we thought we were. Um, so what I'm going to do next is, I'm just touching everything up that I can see, because I can't see very well, um, my face, with, especially with all this light, which is weird, but it's a yellow light. Oh yeah, that looks way better than it did earlier. Earlier I just looked orange. It was yucky. Um, sorry, I had a text. I'm going to go in with Bright Future. It's a gel serum concealer by Sephora in the color Bavarian Cream. And I'm going to use this under my eyes, my chin. I actually wanted a way light color because I like it when Jeffree Star does his makeup and it's so bright around his eyes. I think it's so pretty. And I know there's going to be a lot of you mook up, mook up, mook ups, makeup gurus out here saying that I'm doing this incorrectly and I probably am, but I'm doing the best I can. Like I said, I'm still just learning. Um, I watched... I watch a lot of Jeffree Star, like a lot. Um, some James Charles, Manny MUA. I can't really find any females yet though. Like Jeffree Star is my main, my main guru, my main inspiration. So I'm gonna bounce this in, blend it. I don't know what you call it, blending it, I guess. Strong there on the nose. And like I said, I can only see out of one eye. So whenever you see me doing a weird angle, it's... I don't know, my eyes are so puffy today. Probably because I was crying. Um, maybe it's a bad reaction to the new eye cream I'm using, I don't know. I like the way this side looks. I don't like the way this side looks. I don't like how swollen my eye looks. But since I forgot where I was telling my life story, it was a weird little jumpy move I just did. Um, my back hurts from sitting the way I'm sitting. Because I'm sitting cross-legged up on my desk. Oh, that's as good as it's going to get. It's as good as it's going to get. So I'm going to go in with some. Sephora. Sephora. Mm. Sephora Beauty Amplifier. Smoothing and Translucent Setting Powder. It says colorless. So I'm going to go in with actually my Sephora. This is a highlighter brush, I believe. I would love to tell you, but it doesn't tell me anywhere on it. This is the one I got for highlighting. This is the one I got for the setting powder. They're hot from being on that mirror. I like the smaller one because I don't want the powder to go everywhere. So I'm going to bake. Everywhere that I just put that concealer at, I'm going to put this. I should put some on top of my eyes. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. <laughs> 
It's not too late though. Now earlier I made a mistake because I did watch. They used a lot of setting powder in the last one I watched on Jeff Jeffree Star because he said um James Charles says he uses a lot of setting powder when there's going to be a lot of powder. Sorry, I something on my tooth. Um, but there's going to be a lot of powder. And so I sprayed my setting powder. Then I went back in to try to highlight it a little bit more. Oh, um, no. Mm, it didn't work at all. Everything got, like, clumpy and patchy and gross. So, I'm not going to do that again. That's not where I was trying to go with that. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. And my mother-in-law's home. And I'm going to go in with my powder brush. This one says it. Why doesn't this one? Or does it? I just didn't see it. Oh, it does. Okay, so this is highlight. Illuminature, I guess. And this one's powder. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm just going to wipe it away. And then I'm going to take a break. Because she's going to call down and talk to me. And ask me how I am and how my day was. So, I'll be right back.